you some. What time is it now? Must be at least half past. Golly! I bet I won't make the game today. I'll help you. Thanks, Phoebe. We'll make better time if you take Linda and I'll meet you down at Cutler. Okay. Hey, look, here's the half point. Uh-oh, here comes Big now. Hi, where are you going with Phoebe? Ballet dancing lessons? Is baseball too rough for you, little man? Well, oh, it's not that, buddy. He's learning a new way to run the bases on his toes. <laughs> Very funny. Ha, hearty, ha, ha. Let's go, BB. Go take a bath in quicksand. <laughs> this time, my lad, dead to rights. Eyewitness, corpus delicti, and all that sort of thing. Corpus? What? How many times have I told you to place my evening paper, not in the ivy, not in the gutter, not on the lawn, but there, on the porch, right under the mailbox? Gee, sir, how do you expect me to throw it so it lands in that? I'd have to get off my bike and put it there. That's exactly what I expect you to do. Get off my bike? Precisely. Gee, sir, all I'm supposed to do is throw it so it lands on the lawn. Now, see here, old chap. Let me put it to you this way. You're very young, I'm very old. There are some things young people should do for old people. Isn't that so? Yes, sir. Then go and do it. <laughs> I hate to make a major issue of use, but you see, my back isn't what it used to be. Yes, sir. Excuse me, sir. Can I go now, sir? Yes, sir. You may go now, sir. Thank you, sir. Not at all, sir. Yes, sir. Get in the dugout. Yes, sir. Okay, Chuck. Fire to there. Think you're getting the game today, Moochie? I don't know. Mr. Clinton looks awful mad because I was late. Darn that old Mr. Bennett anyhow. I missed two whole innings. Look. Nice going, kids. Away. That's away. Well, hiya, short stuff. Dancing lessons over so soon? You know where he's been, delivering his papers. Well, keep the bench warm. <laughs> <laughs> I ought to sock him one. Now, Mochie. All right, buddy, you're up. Joey on deck, Smitty in a hole. All right, Ben, one, two, three this inning. Keep in there, Chuck. Three up, three down, boy. Mr. Clinton, can I please play this inning, please? Look, Moochie, 
You're new on the team. This is a real close game, son. I don't think it'd be fair to the other boys if I put you in at a time like this. All right, Chuck, put it in there, boy. Jerry, play off that bag a little bit. B.B. Hi, Daddy. Hello, sweetheart. What are you doing here? Well, your mom sent me over to pick you up for supper. It's after 7 o'clock. Oh, galoshes. I want to see Moochie play. Hi, Moochie. Hi, Mr. Preston. Please, can I say, Daddy? There's only one more inning. Well, all right, sweetheart. I'll go up and take a load off my feet. Come on, boys. Come on, Adam. Come on. Come on. <laughs> nice setup you got here. This your first experience with the Little League? <laughs> you haven't lived yet, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Second should have been called out. What makes you think so? Interference with the second baseman. You tried to avoid him. Well, no, but the book says that the runner must avoid the fielder, or otherwise he's out. You know the rules, huh? <laughs> well, Otto, I played second base in college. In fact, I got a bid from the major leagues, but, well, my law career came first. I'm the president of this league, Lou Rossin. Hi. Uh, which boy is yours? Well, none, really. I have a daughter. Uh -huh. Well, that shouldn't make any difference. I didn't get your name. Preston, Fred Preston. Nice to know you. <laughs> uh, what are you doing uh, next Tuesday evening between 6 and 8? Nothing special? Why? Uh, the uh, Bobcats versus the Rangers. You can call balls and strikes. Me? Yes, just like uh, big league or college baseball. The only difference, the field is two-thirds the size. The games are six uh, innings. There's no uh, lead-off until the ball passes the batter, and the batter can't run on a drop third strike. Oh, it's all right here in this little booklet. Here, read it over. See you Tuesday. Oh, now, wait a minute. I just came here to pick up my daughter. That's all right. I'll see you Tuesday, a little before six. <laughs> wait a minute. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Nice play, buddy boy. That's the old pepper. Okay, Georgie. Here's a chance to hit the old apple out of the field. Georgie, hit it. Atta boy. Remember how I showed you? Okay, hit it that way. Come on, you bobcat. Come on. Come on, let's go. Hey, hey. Yeah, bobcat. Come on, let's wrap this game up. <laughs> Smitty, you're up next, then Chuck Davis. Mr. Clinton? Mr. Clinton? Out of the way, small fry. Moochie? Tight feet on it! Well, two out. Too bad, Joey. Okay, Smitty, it all depends on you, boy. You get on base and we can still win this game. Gee, Mr. Clinton, I just can't hit this guy today. I've already struck out three times. Well, Smitty, uh, Smitty, I can hit him, Mr. Clinton. I bet you I can. Please. Okay, bat for Smitty. Yeah! Woo! Give me that hat. Give me that bat. Should I bunt or single or try for a home run? Just get a walk. A walk? Yeah, look, you're short. He won't be able to pitch to you. Now, look, don't swing at anything. Just crowd that plate and wait him out. Once you get on, Chuck Taylor will be up, and he'll bring in both runs, I hope. Yes, sir. All right, Bob. Daddy, 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 guess what? Moochie's gone in. We want a hit. 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 Now remember what I we told you. We want a hit. 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 Oh, that's a boy. We want a hit. We want a hit. We want a hit. Take two. We want a hit. Oh, 
three, four. We want to help. 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 Uh, tough luck. Well, uh, we'll get him next time, kid. Son, don't you know what a walk is? The last one looked like it would have been a strike anyhow, Mr. Clinton. So you have to go and make sure of it, eh? Do the whole game away. What a stoop. That's enough, Chuck. Look, Moochie. Moochie, it's no disgrace to strike out. Since when? Well, uh, Joe DiMaggio struck out lots of times, even in his best year. is because it was your alma mater. Oh, Marion, dear, that's not the only reason. You have to think of the cultural atmosphere of your college. After all, you'll be there for four years. Okay, dear. Moochie, it's customary to remove one's hat at the table. It isn't a hat. It's a baseball cap. Just the same. Will you please take it off? Mother, there's just as much cultural atmosphere at State. They have poetry contests and drama festivals and... And boys. Marion, why don't you admit it? The only reason you want to go to State is because it's co-ed. Well, is it a crime to have a date once in a while? What about the scholastic ratings of these schools? What does that matter? Moochie, darling, where are you going? You haven't eaten a bite. I'm not hungry, Mom. Well, after the day you put in? I ate a lot of junk over at the field. Oh, well, maybe you're overtired delivering all those newspapers on a hot day like this and then playing baseball. Maybe it's too much. No, Mom. Honest, it isn't. You look tired. I'm okay, Pop. I'm gonna go oil up my glove. Maybe he is doing too much. What does he have to have a paper route for anyway? We're not exactly starving around here. It makes up for... You know, what? Well, no, I don't know what. Well, he is small for his age. Oh, Marion, he isn't so small. Why do you think he joined the Little League and got a newspaper route? It's a big honor to ride into the schoolyard with those newspaper bags on your bike. Those dirty old things? Those dirty old things. They're just as important to him as that old baseball cap he wears all the time. You said you weren't tired. Oh, hi, Pop. Come on. I'll help you get undressed. Okay. Tell me, Moots, is there something bothering you? Mm -mm. Some big kid picking on you or something like that? Mm -mm. I wish I could spend more time with you. Get out to that little league field once in a while. Do you know how my business is? Sure, Pop, I do. That doesn't mean I don't care about what you're doing. What I'm trying to tell you is that if you have anything on your mind that you'd like to talk over, well, that's what I'm here for. 
Do I have to brush my teeth tonight? I think you'd better. Oh, okay. How'd the ball game go? Oh, pretty good. Did you get any hits? say, Jerry? Joey has the measles. He'll be sick for two weeks. Well, Danny Morrison, Danny, you can take his place. Well, Danny has a piccolo lesson today. Up. Uh, piccolo lessons. Measles. Well, men, that leaves us without a catcher. Any volunteers? Me, 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 Mr. Clinton. Oh, that takes a tough man, Moochie. I'm tough. I'm awful tough. Honest, I am, Mr. Clinton. Game time, Bobcats. Ready? Be right with you, Um. Good. Please, Mr. Clinton, I can do it. Honest, I can. Just give me a chance. I'll show you. Okay, put on the gear. Skippy! Out of my way. Forgive me. Out on the field, man. Hey, 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 I think it's a little bit loose. Don't you? <laughs> well, just a little. <laughs> Let's see what we can fix up here. Now, well, there's no more tick up on this. Come here, boy. We'll see what we can fix. Are there any safety pins in the house? <laughs> Thank you very much. Here, boy. Last year it was chicken pox. This year it's measles and <laughs> piccolo lessons. Yeah, get, here, get that mask, will you? Here. Hey, Jerry, are you in trouble? Look what you got for a catcher. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Jerry. <Yeah. laughs> Come on, George. Come on, George. George. Around. There, Mooch, that ought to do it. Is it okay? Fine. Here we go. We got some work to do. Get it out, Claude. Jerry, come on, Ferdinand. That picture any good? I hope so. He's my son. Let's play ball. Moosey, you watch yourself. Don't let that rudder steal on you. Time to throw off your mask. You can find the ball quicker. Thanks. Come on, Jerry. Put him right over the plate. This guy can't hit it. Strike. Don't throw it away, Moochie. Ball 
Nacho. Yes, <clears throat> I know. <laughs> Poke it out there, Smitty. Hit that first good one. Can I swing away this time, Mr. Clinton, please? Can I? Well, we're three runs to the good, so go ahead. Let's see what you can do. Thank you, Mr. Clinton. You won't regret it. Smitty, only one out. Tag up on the fly. Okay. You're out, son, for passing the runner in front of you. He's out for getting tagged off base. Now that retires us side. Let's go. Come on. Come on. What a cheer. Uh, 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 uh. All right, man, on the field. Hey, come on. Let's go get him. Why don't you watch me go on half fight? It wasn't my fault. Smitty should have kept running. Smitty should have kept running. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. Why don't you go home and play with your girlfriends? Hey, you! I'm gonna punch you right in your nose! <laughs> Cut it out, you two. Let me go! Let me in! Get out on the field, Chuck. Yes, sir. Now, you'll only get hurt. He's too big for you. But I gotta show him! I gotta... You can show him, Moochie. But not by fighting, by playing good baseball. And I'm gonna help you. Huh? What do you mean? Well, never mind now. We'll start tomorrow evening before dinner, okay? Okay. All right, now get your gear on. I am deeply honored to be chosen as valedictorian of the class of... The world was that? All right, Mochi, once more now. Runner on first, going down to second. Moochie, you got a lot of natural ability. That's why you're on the team. But you're trying too hard. You're too tense. All that effort makes you lose control of the ball. Now, let's try it again. Okay. Man on first, going down to second. boy, Mooch. Now you're getting the range. Hi, right, Moochie, watch me. Now, you keep your weight forward on the balls of your feet so you can jump quickly from side to side. You understand? See? Get down here and try that. That's it. A mooch. Get a man on second, stealing third. Let's get him out. See, all you have to do is take it easy. Well, that's all for today, kids. Gee, I can hardly wait for the game tomorrow. Me too. You'll show that, Chuck Taylor. You'll show them all. Thanks for helping me, Mr. Preston. Thanks a lot. You're welcome, boy. <laughs> That's pretty good pegging, son. You saw it, huh, Pa? I'll say I did. You look like a real big leaguer. <laughs> <laughs> Fred, BB, dinner. Okay, Mom. You go ahead and watch up, sweetheart. I'll be right there. Here, Mitch. Bye. Come on, Pop. Let's go eat. I'm starved. See you tomorrow, Mr. Preston. Okay, boy. <laughs> well, that ought to be some game tomorrow, huh? Now I've got to be out of town, darn it. Oh, that's a shame. That's quite a boy you got there. Well, you're doing a great job with him. Great. Thank you. I, I hope that I'm not intruding or anything. I've oh, not at all. Not for a minute. I really ought to find more time myself, but... Well, not that I'm qualified, of well, course. You're qualified, all right. For all, he's your son. But it's... Well, it's just easier for me to get away from the office and all, you know. That's sure. Well, good night. Good night, buddy, and thanks. Well, thank you. Mooch. Yeah? Now, remember.
Remember, get yourself set before each pitch. Balance yourself on the balls of your feet. Yeah. And another thing, watch those throws. It's better to throw straight than hard. Yeah. Uh, Mooch, one more thing now, most important. Be calm. Don't panic. Have you got that? Yeah, I got it. Be calm, don't panic. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? What are you doing? We're tearing down the field. How come? What happened? Oh, Mrs. Burton, Fred. Mrs. Burton? The lady who owns the property. She sold the place and we got orders to pull down our fences and clear out right now. In the middle of the season? Yeah, I think she's been very generous, letting us use the field all these years. But she got an offer she couldn't afford to turn down. You mean there won't be any game today? No game today, no Little League season, no Little League at all, unless we can find another two-acre field. Well, where are we going to find two acres in this neighborhood? If we find one, will the owner let us use it? A couple of fellas are looking across town. Give me the bike! What's, what's the matter? Nothing. Get on the back. Where are we going? Never mind. <laughs> Did you put Mr. Bennett's paper under the mailbox? Sure, look. Good girl. Hi, Mr. Bennett. Hello, lad. We put your paper right where you want it. Thank you, my boy, thank you. Do you own all this land? Huh? Own it quite. Gee, it's big. I bet it's two acres easy. Quite easy. It's three, in fact. Three galoshes. Galoshes? Is this all you use it for? I mean, having it pose for pictures? Its principal function is to give me a sense of space. The atmosphere of rural England, Surrey, Sussex, the country, you know. Mr. Bennett, can I ask you a question? Go ahead, old boy. What is it? Do you believe in Little League? Little League, what's that, some kind of conspiracy? Yeah, for kids to play baseball in. You don't say. Do you believe in it? One neither believes nor disbelieves in such things. Apparently, it exists. Ergo, I accept. You do? Most certainly. Gee, thanks. Thanks a lot, Mr. Bennett. Sir, come on, Vivi. Little League, galoshes. <laughs> right this way, Mr. Rossin. See, Mr. Rossin? Three acres. Mm. Mm. Let's go talk to Mr. Bennett. Hello again, my lad. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm the president of the Winston Little League. Uh, Rawson is my name. Bennett here. Huh? J. Cecil Bennett. Nice to meet you, Mr. Bennett. Moochie here tells me that we can have your field. My field? For what? For the Little League. Little League? Yes. He what? You said so. You said you accepted, remember? Young man, you just set a new world's record for jumping to conclusions. You mean, uh, you didn't say so, Mr. Bennett? I most certainly did not. Moochie. I thought so. Didn't you, baby? Sure. Uh, you didn't, huh? Of course not. Oh, that's too bad. Well, Mr. Bennett, I wish you'd reconsider. Our boys are in desperate need of a place to play baseball. We'll carry plenty of insurance, take full responsibility. Sorry, old boy. I'm not anxious to have a pack of ragamuffins running about. Well, our boys are not exactly ragamuffins. Perhaps not. Besides, I'm not interested in baseball. Never could understand the ballet game. Well, that's strange. Baseball is a lot like cricket. Have you considered that? No. No, I haven't. 
I believe the two games have the same origins in ancient tribal rights. You don't say? Yeah. Yes, I do. Speaking of cricket, I used to be a cracking good square leg in my day. Square leg? Fielder. Oh, yeah, a fielder, yeah. <laughs> Bit of a bat, too. Yeah. Once against Notts County, I scored 78 runs before the blighters took my wicket. That must have been a glorious day. Was that amateur or professional? Amateur, of course. I played for one thing only, the love of the game. So do our boys. Yes, I suppose they do, huh? Yes. Yes, they do. Mm. Yes, I suppose they uh, do. Uh... About how much pace would you require? Well, now, let's see. Home plate would be about there. Come on, Mooch. Here, you stand right there, B.B. Come on, Mooch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Right there, Mooch. Now, where uh, B.B.'s standing will be home plate. B.B. home plate. And Moochie is uh, second base. Moochie is second base. This will be the infield, and all the rest will be the outfield. In other words, my tree would be outfield. Yes, sir, outfield. Well, I'd have to think it over for a few days. Yeah, we want to get started the first thing Saturday morning. It'll be a big job to move the fences, the sprinkler system, and so on from the old location. I say that's quite an undertaking. Yeah, it'll take most of the week. I should say so, at least. Then we can have it. Infield? Yes. Outfield. That's right. My tree, outfield. Yes. Once a square leg, always a square leg. You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. Bennett. Spirit. Isn't it great? Such cooperation, such enthusiasm. <laughs> Remember me? I just came out to pick up my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Next week this time, we'll be playing ball here. Yeah. Little maid in the kitchen. In the kitchen. <laughs> busy there. Busy, busy bees everywhere. <laughs> Dare you chop down my tree, sir? Well, Mr. Bennett, we've got to Doesn't get a... your word mean anything to you, sir? I don't understand. This tree, I'm painting it, oh. was perfectly clear. That was to be the infield, and this the outfield. Exactly. Then why are you cutting down my tree? Because it's in the way. In the outfield? Of course, the outfield is part of the playing area. It is? Certainly. But I assumed it seemed perfectly obvious the outfield would be out. No, no, no. I, I thought you realized that. No, I didn't. Not for a moment. This tree is very important to me. But it's dead. It's been dead for years. That's just it, my friend. There's great beauty in death. The gnarled bark, the colors, the browns, the yellows, the shape of the limbs, the nobility of age, the end of the trail. I'm dreadfully sorry to stop all this, but stop it immediately! Now, please go away! Put back those sods! I'm telling you, get off my property! I won't have it! My tree! No, 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 no! Put that back! I say, put that back! Hey, Mr. Bennett! Mr. Bennett! Sir? No, no! Go away! Mr. Bennett! You promised, remember? Sorry, lad. Painting is all I have left, really. 
And this one, best I ever done. You can see for yourself. Got to finish it, you know. Sorry, lad. Remember my telling you there were some things young people should do for old people? You remember? Yes, sir. You remember? No, sir. Oh, no, of course you weren't there. Well, it follows, obviously, there are some things old people should do for young people. I say out there, hold! Hold everything! I've changed my mind. Oh. You have? Yes, prerogative of old age. Oh, good. I say, fellas out there, carry on as before. And I'm very, very sorry to have interrupted you. Did you hear that, baby? Yes. Yeah, baby, come on, baby. Well, what about your tree? I'll paint it from memory. It'll be a bit more difficult, but I'll probably make a better job of it. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, Luna, we appreciate it. Mr. Bennett, Mr. Bennett, yay, Diesel, yay! <laughs> they are nice little livers, aren't they? <laughs> Didn't he run? Oh, that's a foul ball. You don't run on that. You don't, huh? No, no. No such thing in cricket. There isn't? <laughs> no. Strike two! Strike? But he didn't strike the ball. He missed it. Well, that's a strike. Just the same. Fifteen years I've been in your country. I still don't understand your language. Yeah. Oh boy, double steal. Who stole what? The man on first stole second, the man on second stole third. Is that legal? <laughs> sure. Darn good playing, too. You don't say. Yeah. What's the matter? Got a hole in your mitt? What do you mean? It was your fault. It was a wild pitch. You should have had it anyway. I'm warning you. You better not mess up my record. You're out. Two out. Looks like I'm gonna have to win this one all by myself. What was that, old boy? That was a double play. Double play. Mm -hmm. Double play, double steal. It's most confusing. It's simple once you get the hang of it. I'll be hanged if it is. <laughs> This guy likes to bunt. With two out? He may try it. With you catching? Well, he won't get away with it. With me catching. Well, just don't throw the ball away. That's all. Come on, Joe, 
run in there, Chuck. Let's go. Come on, Chuck. Run in there, Chuck. Let's go, Chuck. Nice safe. Safe! You ain't got right. What do you mean? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What do you mean he's safe? He's running first base. Quiet. Now, just be quiet. He was out before, before you ever got on first base. Quiet. You hear that? Mochi tagged him all right, but he lost possession of the ball, so he's safe all the way around the run counts. What do you mean he can't do that? He can't take the ball out of play? That's interference. He didn't put the ball in his pocket. Mochi did. Now he's it's safe all the way around. Now, come on, let's play ball. Let's just play ball. Come on. But... You really poor one that time, Buster. Hey, can't we get a new catcher? This guy's for the birds. Look, it was an accident. Get back on the mound. Yes, sir. All right, let's go, Moochie. That's going, kid. That's the way to play the old game. Now, listen to me. A run wins the game. But if we don't score, we'll have to face the top of their batting order in the next inning. So heads up now. Wait for that good one. All right. Uh, Chuck Taylor up. Then Smitty. Then Moochie. Don't worry, Mr. Clinton. I'm going to put this game on ice. Right now. Cricket. On the contrary, <laughs> happened to me once playing against Twickenham. Felt him slipping, couldn't stop him, run out. Dreadful experience. Hey, boy. So you're going to put the game on ice for us, big boy. <laughs> Who are you going to play that one on? My belt buster. Can I help it? My, my belt buster. buster. My belt buster. That's right, my belt buster. <laughs> okay, half pint. What's your wisecrack? Did you ever hear of a guy by the name of Joe DiMaggio? Sure I did. What about him? He got put out at first lots of times, even without losing his pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Moochie, on deck. Thank you, mate. Moochie. Look, son, this pitcher's getting wild. Wait him out. You mean a walk? A walk. Golly, do I always have to wait for a walk? Son, you hit into a double play, we lose the game. Come on, now, get going. Yes, sir. Oh, hello, Mr. Austin. Hello, Marion. How we doing? All tied in the last checker. Inning, not checker. Thank you. <laughs> You're just in time, folks. Moochie's up. Oh, oh good. Here, sit down here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Come on, Mooch. Throw it over the fence. Remember what I told you, Mooch. Ball outside. That's the OI, Mooch. Wait for the good one. Strike one. Ball. You're out. Smitty, why don't you stay awake, boy? Bushy, that's two out. Just get on. Just get on.
many times you go around, Mooch? <laughs> I guess I took one base too many, huh? Why, <laughs> oh, Moochie? What are you? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Gosh, Mr. Clinton, I didn't mean to hit the ball at all. I was trying to get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Don't apologize, Moochie. You won the game. Treats are on me. Mooch. What a base runner. What a hitter. Little monkey. Mama's awful proud of you. Mm. Oh, Mom. Not in front of all the kids. Oh, my God. We got the Come on. Burn it in, right here. Come on, Chucky Dave. Yeah! Out. You're out. That's the way to do it, kid. That's the way. You like that put out, Mr. Clinton? Very smooth, Chuck. Very smooth. Thank you, Mr. Clinton. You're a thing to make the All-Stars, Chuck. Well, I'll be in there trying anyway. Who knows? We might even get to the World Series. You mean in Williamsport, Pennsylvania? Sure. We got as much chance as any other league. Golly. I didn't know we were that good. <laughs> Fellas, Mr. Rossen, clean it up good. I don't like a messy lawn. I like everything tidy. <laughs> what a character. Nice old gent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He and his gnarled branches. Come on, Johnny, you can get him back. How are you coming, old boy? I'll be finished in a minute. Remember what I told you, mum's the word. I want this to be a surprise. Well, what do they think I'm doing here? Fixing the water meter. Well, that's out front near the sidewalk. They won't know the difference. How many kids have you got, anyhow? Kids? None. Well, then why spend all this moolah on the Little League? Dead of gratitude, old boy. Little League has turned on my sporting blood. Given me a little company. New interest in life is where. Okay, so you got a new interest in life and an automatic sprinkler. Now, just follow the directions in here. Set them for the time you want the water to go on, then forget them. Set them and forget them. Right. Why, Fred, I thought they promoted you to coach. Hello, ladies. Well, as a matter of fact, they promoted me to gardener today. I see. <laughs> oh, you know Lou Rawson, president of our Little League, Moochie's mother and sister. Sure thing. We're very fond of Moochie. He's a great kid, great catcher. He might even make the All-Stars. The All-Stars? Mm-hmm. They're the best players picked from all the teams in our league. Andy Clinton is grading them now. You better keep your eye on Moochie. Well, thank you. I will. Excuse me. <laughs> this all-star team, it's just an honor, isn't it? It doesn't play anyone, does it? Oh, it plays uh, all-star teams from other leagues. When? Well, after the regular season, August. Well, how long will that take? All depends. If we win the area, we go to district. If we win that, we go to uh, section, then division, region, and we might even go to the World Series in Williamsport. But that could take a whole month. Well, if we're that lucky. Oh. <laughs> Listen, Mother, if Moochie makes this all-star team, it'll ruin our summer vacation. Well, stop worrying. He hasn't made it yet. To set trip levers, loosen thumbscrew A. Loosen thumbscrew A. By turning a half turn counterclockwise. Counterclockwise? Oh, my goodness, I turned it the wrong way. That's better. Same time, hold number dial firmly to prevent it from turning. 
Well, he's been memorizing. Time. What's the idea, bat and lefty? I've been practicing, Mr. Clinton. I want to be a switch hitter. Look, learn to bat righty before you get fancy, huh? Yes, sir. Next time, remember, swing smoothly. Just try and meet the ball. Yes, sir. Hi, honey. What's the matter? I'm very sorry, but B.B. cannot deliver your papers today. Oh, golly. But, Daddy, I promise. If I don't, Moochie will lose his route. If you don't see the dentist today, you'll lose a tooth. Oh, but, honey, Moochie's busy today. He's trying to make the All-Stars. Can't B.B. see the dentist tomorrow? Then tomorrow's Sunday. Well, Monday, the tooth will still be there. Yes, but the dentist won't. He's going on vacation. Oh, and Fred, darling, will you please try to be home in time for dinner? If you had a son in the Little League, I could understand, but under the circumstances, I don't see why I should become a Little League widow. Give Moochie your spike. Come on, dear. All right, kids, out on the field. Out on the field. Hello, you guys. Hey, let's go, Moochie. You're gonna make the All-Stars. You gotta hustle, boy. I can't. I got to deliver my newspaper. You get out there. We'll see if these papers get delivered, won't we? <laughs> you bet we will. We'll see to it. But who's gonna deliver them? Oh, we'll find someone, won't we? <laughs> oh, now, wait a minute. I, I can't. The planting, it's not finished yet. I'll, I'll attend to that. Gee, thanks, Mr. Preston. Wait a minute, Mooch. I didn't say that I was... The list of prescribers is in one of those bags. Here, I'll help you get your gear on, son. Oh, now, wait a minute, Ross. Uh, I'd I better go. finish the planting. It's, uh, it's getting late. Yeah. <laughs> Atta boy. <laughs> yeah. The girl's bike yet. Preston is a wonderful neighbor, isn't he? Yes. Ouch.
I guess the rubber band broke. Well, don't worry, lady. The regular boy will be back tomorrow. <laughs> Give it a ride. Send it on a journey, old boy. <laughs> uh, Moochie, old boy, would you mind circling the bases? Oh. sprinkling system on my own. Oh, I wanted to surprise you. Well, you sure did. <laughs> Congratulations, that's great. Hey, I've got something for you. There's an article in here on getting more power into your swing. You ought to read it. Thanks, Pa. I got some good news for you, too. You remember old man Schofield? Yes, he's one of your clients, isn't he? Mm-hmm. He's given us the use of his cabin for the summer up in the mountains. That gorgeous place of Wildwood? Wildwood? Gee, Dad, when do we go? Anytime between July 15th and August 25th. He's gone to Europe for the summer. That's wonderful. Some of the girls from college go up there. I'll be able to meet them. Wait a minute. What about the All-Stars? What about the World Series at Williamsport? You mean you made the All-Stars? I don't know. They'll call me up any minute if I did. Well, we'll wait until they call. Go ahead and take a look at that article. The suspense they put those poor boys through. He's afraid to move six inches away from that phone. Look at this, Dee Dee. Lucky Sox bring 20-game hitting streak. The old baseball superstitions are far from dead. And didn't wash his socks for three whole weeks. Lucky Sox, huh? Guy, you got a home run today. Maybe you're on a hitting streak. Morgan residence. Morgan residence. Mookie speaking. Yes, ma'am. I'll tell her. That was your mom. She wants you to come home and dry the dishes. Oh, galoshes. Phone me the minute you hear, Mooch. Okay. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night, baby. Good night, sweetheart. Here, darling. Give that to your father. Dad? Just one little question. We're not going to pass up a summer in the mountains on account of that darn old Little League, are we? Well, I'm not going to pass up the All-Stars just to go to the darn old mountain. Now, before we get into a squabble, let's just wait and find out if Moochie gets picked. I knew it. I just knew it.
Too, didn't you? Yeah, most of the time. Dogs 25, Pop 15, Ice Cream Stick 10. Can you remember that? Well, she ought to. She learned the Gettysburg Address in half an hour. <laughs> oh, then I can trust you with something real important. Wipe off the counter. <laughs>
Here we come. Washing them? Uh-huh. And we won every game. Well. It's okay, Mom. The whole team's doing it. Oh, Dad. Huh? Oh, Mom. Now what? A letter from Jane at Wildwood. There's going to be a barbecue tomorrow, and some of the girls from the sorority are going to be there. And where am I? Selling hot dogs for the Little League. Oh, now, Marion, dear, don't make such a fuss. There'll be other parties when we get to Wildwood. But that'll be too late. When college starts next fall, I'm not going to have one bid to a sorority. Not even one. Be a hitter. Period. Yes, sir. <laughs> Switch hitter. <laughs> Take it from me, it's much worse on the parents than it is the kids. I agree. You only need one more, Andy. Let's go. Foul tip. Foul tip. Foul tip. He missed it a mile. Now, just a minute, Dump. He missed that ball by this far. He's out. He tipped it, I tell you. Now, look, Dump. Foul ball. Connor's 0-2. He missed it, Mr. Anderson. That's all right, son. Go ahead. All right, batter up. Let's go. Save. Now apply your father's mustache. You missed it. 
You're a dirty, rotten cheater. Come on now, come on, hold it. That's no way to act. Let's go. I don't pay any attention to him, Mooch. Suppose it wasn't a foul. Suppose I didn't tip it. The ump said you did. But what if I knew I didn't? What then? You're still right. You're not allowed to argue with the ump. It's against the rules. Come on. Well, so long, Uchi. Where are you going, Pa? Well, I got a big powwow with a customer in Chicago. Sorry I won't see the game on Monday, but good luck anyway. Thanks, Pa. Did you say your prayers, Tina? Yes, Ma. Okay. Try to go to sleep, huh? So long. So long, Pa. He should have been asleep by now. Well, we all have nights when we can't sleep. Don't worry about it. He's probably overtired from the game. Bye. Have a nice trip. Thanks. Bye, darling. Bye, dear. like that again and oh yeah if we have to lose on Monday would it be all right if it wasn't my fault I mean I don't want it to be any other kids fault but what I mean is well I don't know what I mean please Just a moment, please. Darling. <clears throat> Darling, it's 8 o'clock on Sunday morning. The little league is calling. Hello? Oh, hello, Clinton. Oh, no! What is it? Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. Well, they're my next door neighbors, aren't they? Yeah. All right. What's the matter? Louise. She's taking Moochie out of the tournament. Look, Ma. I wouldn't care if it was any old game, but it's the regional finals. Don't you understand? The finals! Moochie, we have been through all this, and it's settled. We're going to Wildwood, and that's all there is to it. But I want to go to Williamsport. Now listen to me, Moochie, dear. We have devoted almost the entire summer to you and your little league. We've traveled all over the state. We've dished up hot dogs. We've made snow cones until our fingers were numb, and we've sat on those hard old bleachers until... Well, until I don't know what. Well, I don't see how going to the mountains can help Marion in college. Well, dear, it, it'll help her meet some of the girls who go there. See who that is, will you, dear? Now go on. Get your hat and coat, huh? 
Golly. Oh, good morning, Mr. Preston. Good morning, Maria. Which I understand you're all going to the mountains. That's right. Oh, but what about Moochie? He's got his heart set on this series. Fred, you wish, don't you, Ria? There's more going on in Moochie's heart than meets the eye. Take my word for it. All right, Marie, get your things. Let's go. Here, I'll take those. Thank you. Louise, why don't you and Marion go to the mountains and let Moochie stay with us? That's very sweet of you, Fred, but I really couldn't put you to that much trouble. Oh, it'd be no trouble. We'd love it. Marion! Moochie! Come on, let's get started before we hit all that Sunday traffic. Come on, Louise, there must be some... Please, Fred. What's the matter, Mooch? Where are you going? Oh, I got to go to Wildwood. Just because my stuck-up old sister has to join a stupid old sorority. Get the car. Moochie, what are you doing? Will you please come on? Oh, Bebe, would you take over Mooch's paper route? I'm sure he'll pay you generously. Yes, ma'am. All right, Moochie. In the car with your sister. Like fun. I'm not going to sit next to her. I'd rather sit in back. Well, okay, come on. In you go. Ah, good boy. Louise, there must be some way we can figure this out. I'm sorry, Fred. The Muji is my son, and I'm just going to have to work this out my own way. Bye, Fred. Bye, Bebe. Yep. Have a nice trip. Bebe! Don't forget to put Mr. Bennett's paper in the right place now. I will, Mooch. See you, Bebe. Oh, go Them's my sentiments exactly, baby. Look, Monty, don't get me wrong. We're not trying to tell you how to bring up your son. No, it's just that the other catchers aren't quite as good as... Monty, this is Andy Clinton. Look, Mooch is the spark plug of our team. If he isn't in there catching, we're... Uh, Monty, uh, this is Lou Ross, and I don't want to pressure you. But if you just take into consideration... Look, Bonnie, there's one thing that Louise seems to forget. Oh, now, I'm not criticizing Louise. No, not for a minute. No, he... Now, we all know her and love her. But, fellows, what can I do? I'm in Chicago. Well, we thought that... Well, tomorrow morning, maybe, if you could call... I can't call her. There's no phone at the cabin. Oh, fine. No phone at the cabin. Uh... Well, tell me, what are we going to do? Tell him, in my country, prime ministers are made on the playing fields of Eton. He may be ruining the career. You may be ruining the career of a future president of the United States. Did you get that? <laughs> well, sure, I understand, but... Uh, Marty, this is Lou again. If there's anything you can possibly do, we'll appreciate it. And so will these poor, disappointed kids. Of course, no, we don't want you to jeopardize your business. Naturally, nobody would expect you to. What's that? Well, if you think, oh, sure. Sure thing. You bet. <laughs> well, what'd he say? He's quite a guy. Well, what do you mean? He's postponing his appointments. He's going to drive up to the mountains the first thing in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> We hit him in a vital spot. It's a little league yeah. That ought to bowl the old girl out. Huh? I still say it's ridiculous for you to have come all this distance. But why didn't you call me up and ask my opinion before pulling him out? Well, because I thought it was time we gave Marion a little consideration. True. But, honey, why didn't you leave him with the Prestons then? I'll tell you why. I didn't want him to go through any more emotional strain. After all, he's... He's just a baby. He's not a baby. Look at him. He's a big, healthy, rough and tumble boy. And a darn good ball player, too. We have no right to deprive him of something that he wants to do. Deprive him? I'm only trying to protect him. Oh, Marty. You should have been there last night. He was so upset he couldn't sleep. You should have heard his pathetic little prayer. Okay, so he was under emotional stress. 
But don't you see that he's got to face these situations now? He's got to learn. Otherwise, when he goes out into the world, he'll be totally unprepared. But, Monty, that's like teaching a child to swim by throwing him into the water. True, but I'm in the water with him to hold him up, to help him to get his breath, to teach him how to kick his feet. I'm sorry. I just have to do what I think is right. And so do I. Moochie. Yeah, Pop. Get your things. We're going to the game. Are you kidding, Pop? No. Come on, hurry up. Yippee! All right, Monty. But I won't be responsible for what happens. Okay. It's on my head. I hope I didn't get you in touch with Mom. Well, Mooch, in every family there comes a time for the men to issue a declaration of independence. Hey, wait a minute. We're coming with you. Hurry up, Mary. Here's the key. Uh, put it in your pocket. Good. Here we go. Come we'll on. come back right after the game. Croker, a friend of mine, from Throckmorton Street, London. Hello, everybody. Sit down, old boy, before you fall down. <laughs> <laughs> Recognized him by the old school tie. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this old blighter since the Oxford and Cambridge cricket match at Lord's in 29. Has a grandson on the other team, fancy that. <laughs> Why not admit it? You haven't the chance of an icicle in the Punjab. Before you gloat, old bean, I suggest you wait until the last chuck-up. Chucka, did you hear that? Square, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right, Come on, let's go. Hey, all right, Come on, Mike. Right. Hey, Fiddlesticks. He tipped him out with a ball for attempted thievery of the second base. Uh, don't feel bad about it, fella. You tried. Tough break, Mooch. I got there in time. I was safe a mile. You sure did. That was a rotten call. Well, I guess that sort of evens things up. I mean about Saturday. About that foul tip, the one I didn't tip. Yeah, I guess it does it that. Play ball. All right, come on, Chuck. Great new old target right here. Come on, Chuck. Boundary hit by Joe. Top hole. Top hole. Lucky blow. Well done, Top hole. Top hole to you, old bean. That's 
kick team. Let's have another one. Kids, this is the top of the sixth. Our last chance. Now, we need a run to stay in this game. We get two runs and hold them in the bottom of this inning, we win. That means we go to Williamsport. Now, get out there and hit that ball. Now, be alert, kids. Let's hit them big. Wait for that good one. Your boy Jerry's coming up. He can save this game. Tell me what happens. Safe on first. <laughs> Did you see that, old boy? Safe. Sticky wicked. Sticky wicked. Good show. One more kill and the game is over. It's all up to you, Moochie. Oh, no. Keep it alive, boy! second, you were out at first. Whether you were safe at home is a very little consequence. Three outs, that's the ball game. Wonderful, exciting game, Moochie. You almost tied it up, Peanut. You just didn't get the breaks. I guess my socks weren't lucky enough this time, Bob. Lost a good fight. You were magnificent, even in defeat. Mr. Bennett's right, gang. Come on, let's give Riverton a good yell now. Three, five, seven, nine. Three, Three five, five, seven, nine. nine. Who do we think is mighty fine? Riverton! 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 Well, boys, we didn't get into the World Series, but we came closer than any Winston team ever has. <laughs> and so to symbolize the tremendous pride our community takes in every one of you, we are going to present you with these small tokens of our esteem. How about this, folks? We have a bunch of boys here we can really be proud of.
Oh, no. How about this, boys, huh? What's the matter with those kids? Did you ever see such a bunch of dead pants? <laughs> they haven't smiled since they lost the game yesterday. We can't have this. I'll snap them out of it. Mr. Speaker! Mr. Speaker! Hey, yes, Mr. Bennett. May I say a word? Go ahead. Nothing I do seems to help. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, and baseball champions, it is a pleasure to be here with you all on this beautiful summer evening. And I'd like to leave you lads with just one thought. Anybody can be happy when he wins. But the true test of real character, of real sportsmanship, is to be able to smile even in the face of disaster. Aren't you already? <laughs> By Joe, so he did. <laughs> Mr. Bennett, you've done it again. So I have.